my Tesla Model Y came to an unexpected halt. Follow along as we unravel the aftermath of its mysterious demise. The story begins now. So this is the next morning. It's around 8 a.m. or 8.45, 8.45 a.m. And I've been back and forth with Tesla and Tesla service and Tesla whatever number, 1-800 number. I'm just trying to get a mobile service. So I was able to get a mobile service for today, but that was not as easy as it sounds. Uh, it gave me a mobile service for tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I then got rerouted to a, a service center on a Tuesday, but like I said, the car is completely dead, so there's nothing I can do, and I don't want to tow it again. And went back and forth with a Tesla agent, and he was able to get me a mobile service, but it came out to Thursday. So I had to call again and be like, hey, this car is, I'm in dire need of, of, of transportation and service and they were able to get me in today. So I have someone coming out in about five minutes. Um, they just texted me saying that they were 10 minutes away. So I'm praying and hoping that this is gonna be all resolved today. The one downside though, I, I believe I talked about it, is when I got it towed last night, this is what the tow driver did to my car, trying to jack the car well not jack the car up but he put skates on it and he was trying to lift the skates and he completely deep scratched my wheels <laughs> so now i've been going back and forth this morning with insurance I'm, I, I'm actually not even going back and forth yet um it's just been it's been a process So he did just inform me that my vehicle is also still in warranty, thank God. So I think I have like 5,000 miles left on my warranty. Um, so the battery should be free. So he said, if not, it's only like 115, 120 bucks. If so, if I'm not under warranty, but he checked, he said I'm still under warranty and it should be free. So that's a good sign, no more money being spent. <laughs> and just my look, that battery, is actually an older battery so i thought it was going to be a traditional 12 volt battery but I'm surprised that they didn't know but on this model i have a 2022 tesla model y it's a smaller 12 volt battery so it's like it's actually like a small and he said it runs on 15 volts i'll show you guys a video of it once we have it back open but he had to go back to the tesla center to get the different battery and hopefully we can get that situated but yeah Wrong battery, so waiting for the correct time. So that's actually the 12 volt, 12 volt battery on this vehicle. So at first he brought like a traditional looking one, but that's the one that needs to be replaced. Yeah. Has this happened to you guys a lot? Um, this one, on um, this particular battery, no. This is the first time doing it out in the field. Normally we carry like some traditional batteries in there, but I guess um, it wasn't properly prepared where we knew it was one of these. Uh, Not too often. At least I haven't seen these too often replaced. Yeah. It's crazy, like we went through a whole thing last night and I'm just like, yeah. for the battery dead, I'm like, goodness. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately for you guys, you guys did not. So that's very unfortunate. Right. Yeah. So when it was all said and done, that did not work. So the 12 volt battery gave the car power. It gave it charge, um, but eventually it just turned off again. A bunch of warning signs came up. So the technician believes that when the power went out, 
it trips something else underneath the car in the battery in the software because he even tried to update the software and it wouldn't allow him to do it because the battery was so low now i'm just waiting for another tow to take the tesla to the service center in buena park so the ordeal continues all right so we are waiting for a tow to get here it's been one hell of a mission to say the least so like i said before service came they put a new battery in we got power nothing turned on well it turned on and then ended up turning back off again a bunch of alerts popped up so his theory is something tripped when the battery died so we have to get it towed over to tesla so right now we're just waiting for a tow and we're gonna do this all over again and get it on a tow truck and at least this time this time it will be at a physical service station and let's see what they say This? Uh huh? The one thing I can say though is that I've become kind of a pro because it's now the fourth, third or fourth time I had to do, do this whole jump start the battery type thing. That's the, that's the other thing that kind of sucks. Some of the tow guys don't know anything about Teslas. Like this guy was on FaceTime with someone trying to figure out everything and I had to walk him through it. But, more knowledge, more power, but we're headed to the test of service. All right, so we're finally in service. We're checking out the car. They said it could be something quick, could be something long, but they really don't know yet until it, once they get it in service. But I have high hopes for this. I really do. How you feeling? This is crazy. So I got to get a loaner because they really don't know what's going on with it. So they have to do a diagnosis. Because what they said is the 12 volt in the car, in my version of Model Y, it technically should never go out, but it did. So they have to figure out why. Um, so they're giving me a loaner. So we're going to see what kind of car they're going to give me. Hopefully it's a Model X. Because that's what I really want. <laughs> we'll see what's up. So what I was trying to say earlier that I, well, I was reviewing the footage. I was reviewing the footage. It was kind of loud. But what I was trying to say earlier is that it kind of sucks that a lot of the tow guys don't know anything about Teslas. Like so, I've dealt with three, about three or four different guys by now, and only one of them really knew what he was doing. Like he knew exactly how to jump start the battery open the doors get everything going everyone else were watching youtube videos or facetiming people and by the time the last guy came up i i knew exactly what to do and exactly how to take the car apart i knew exactly how to jump start the battery get everything going it's just been a mission but but yeah we're still waiting here in the service center as you saw i am waiting for a loner they don't know what's going on with the 12 volt they said so I have a 2022 Tesla Model Y long range and that that version of the 12 volt battery technically shouldn't go out um, because it's kind of integrated within the system, but it went out and they don't know why. So they're going to try to figure out what all the codes are that came up on the screen when the battery died and we'll just see what happens because <laughs> we really don't know what's going on. So we're going to get this loaner soon, hopefully get out of here and uh, just see what they say and she's been with me the whole time rocking with me <laughs> it's been a mission it's really been a mission and also just for full transparency this does not change my perspective on Tesla <laughs> like seriously I'll still never drive another car like this is still my dream car still my favorite car doesn't change anything it just sucks that this happened but 
Do you want a Tesla? I still really like Teslas, but I kind of am thinking, I mean, he's a lot more responsible than me. I don't even charge my phone. So. That is true. She will be dead first day. So. so I'm like, maybe I'll stick to my G-Wagon, but we'll see. Ooh, G-Wagon. Okay, okay. But nah, it doesn't change my perspective. Like, this is the first thing that's ever happened in the two years that I've had the car. So, I mean, I'll take that. I mean, little hiccup. So. A little big hiccup. I mean, yeah, big hiccup, but yeah, still my dream car. And here we are, my new loaner for the next few days, a Tesla Model S. This thing is sick. I've actually never driven a Model S before. I get free supercharging the whole time I have the loaner. Oh, this thing is sick. Yeah, this interior is super nice. I got the cream. With the Alcantara, got the wood grain right here. It's so different from the Model S, or from the Model Y, that is. Got a yoke steering wheel. Good thing I got a yoke-ish type of wheel in my car, because I'll be kind of familiar with this. The screen is massive. I love the Alcantara. But yeah, this might be like the one like beautiful thing about this whole scenario. <laughs> is that I get to drive a Model S for the next few days. But I'm gonna make sure I charge up. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get used to the car, figure out how to work all the things. So some things are kind of different. And they also let me know that I can actually go ahead and log in online and accept basically like the, the rental agreement terms. And then, so basically like no smoking in the car, no pets, you know, your typical rental stuff. And um, I can actually get this vehicle on my Tesla account through the mobile app and all of my settings for my Model Y will now be in this car. So this car is a little bit different, but all my like my peripherals like Spotify, all that stuff will be in this vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get that all set up. So it's been three days. Today's Thursday. We dropped the car off on Monday. Uh, so it's been three days since I dropped off the car and I can't say there hasn't been any communication, but I mean, there really hasn't been any update. So I got in touch with uh, a rep from the service center. The only update he gave me was that the notifications kept popping up and they were trying to figure out why I got that notification yesterday. So on Wednesday. By that point, the car was already there two days. Um, and then even on the app, just checking on my vehicle, the progress for the service has not changed as far as the notification bar. And then also my battery still shows 0% and it still shows the location as where the battery died over in Laguna. And just for reference, my car is in Buena Park. So it's like maybe a 20 mile difference. Uh, and nothing has updated as far as the vehicle and I haven't been really updated as far as the status of the car. So I'm going to just pull up there right now. It's 830 Thursday morning. Uh, I believe it's the 21st right before Christmas. So actually upon that, I, I reached out to the service center yesterday as well, asking if I can have an upgraded loaner, um, because I'm supposed to go on a road trip for Christmas and I need a bigger car than the Model S because I have family, I have gifts and all that stuff. And then out of nowhere, they said, hey, we'll have your car ready Thursday night. So on the app, it does show that my car will be done at 6 p.m. today. But as far as actually what the app shows the status of my car is, that doesn't look likely at all. So I'm just going to go there, try to get some clarity as well. I also need to take pictures for insurance purposes for the rim that the tow driver messed up on the rim. So I need to upload through their portal. I just can't upload photos that I have. I have to actually take photos with their application. So let's just see what happens and yeah, fingers crossed. All right, wish me luck. Just got here to service. We'll see what's up. Hey, how you doing? Gonna give you a phone call. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
All right, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, our night crew was attacking your car. Okay. They were trying to get to it. Um, let me bring it up really quick. So, I know that we messaged you earlier about um, having to do the PCS. The. Um, uh, let me find it really quick. Yeah, the power. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the power conversion system. So, the technician. It's on hold right now, basically, because there's an oh. approval that needs to be made for you. Uh, okay. So it 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 is pricey. It is pricey. It is coming out as customer pay only because the technician uh, verified concern found vehicle not powering on. Found vehicle in a low voltage battery was replaced. The technician proceeds to perform steps for replacement of the lithium um, low voltage battery, which okay. I mentioned to you before rarely goes out. Yeah. That that lithium one. Uh, so the HV battery was discharged to a very low state of charge. What means it, what that means is basically like your high voltage battery, you ran it too low to the point where the cells opened up mm. to protect itself from uh, from discharging completely to oh, like wow. a zero percent charge. So every time that somebody like the and this is what happened with mobile, mobile inputted the new 12 volt, and then it, it didn't hold the charge because it basically sucked everything back into the high voltage battery. Oh, wow. So what 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 was causing that was that now that those cells opened up, and uh, I can grab one of the techs to kind of explain it a little bit better. Um, it's basically it's preventing any brand new 12 volt battery from from being installed because it's just going to discharge it directly into the HV battery. So the 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 reason for that was um, because the HV battery was charged so low that it, it, it basically tripped the fuse for the power conversion system, which is the PCS. So the PCS is, is something that has to be changed out. They said like the verbiage wise, like- Sorry, are we recording? Oh, I'm just the voice. Yeah, unfortunately we can't have any recording. Oh, voice. my bad, okay. All right, well, since I was rudely interrupted, um, so here's kind of what happened. After all of that, the technician actually came out and gave me all the technical that's what I really wanted to capture with you guys, but homeboy said I needed to turn off my camera. But anyway, so the technician was saying that my PCS system, um, I can't remember exactly what that means, so I'll put it here on the screen, but my PCS system was fried when the, when the 12 volt battery went out. So basically what he was saying is there's current going from the high voltage battery, which is underneath the car, that goes to the 12 volt and back and forth. And when the 12 volt died, the high voltage battery still had power and it needed to exert it somewhere. So what it did, and I'm butchering this, I wish I was able to record it, but he was saying that there's, there's a valve on both ends. So a valve on the high voltage and a valve on the low voltage, which is a 12, 12 volt battery. And when it died, they both opened, making the high voltage exert power but it had nowhere to go, making that middle piece, basically where the communication of both batteries talk, literally fried. So he said that he's been at Tesla maybe four, like three or four years, and he said this is only the second time he's ever seen that happen. The second time. He's like, it's very rare. He's like, usually like when batteries die, uh, they swap out the 12 volt, pop it in, plug into a supercharger, they're good to go. He's like, this is only the second time he's ever seen this happen. Yeah, only the second time he's ever seen this happen. So that's just my luck. Um, and then also on top of that, he was saying that all the other technicians thought it was my all my third party modifications and they were this close to having me come in uh, to remove everything. And I'm like, well, how am I gonna remove everything? But he was saying like, they were that close to saying, hey, come remove the tail lights, come remove the the screen, come remove all the stuff that I have, the auto frunk. But the main guy working on my car, he was like, there's no way tail lights would make the car do this. There's no way having a, a screen in the rear would do this. Like, let's keep pushing. So I'm so grateful that he kept pushing and found that out. Now, here's the cost. So obviously, once your high voltage battery goes out, you're basically screwed. It's like 20 grand. 
Um, the 12 volt battery was covered under warranty, but as you see, we still have these issues. But that PCS system, that 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 whatever that communicator is, uh, it ran me $2,200. So $2,200 right before Christmas. And I mean, thank God, like I'm blessed and I, I was able to just make it happen. But it was definitely uh, uh, a cost that I was not ready for as far as mentally. I didn't think it would be $2,000. I thought, oh, it's under warranty. Um, but what he said was, if my vehicle, let's say this happened, I was at 30%, 40%, basically, it would just be a complete fault of the vehicle and the manufacturing, and it would be covered under warranty. But since I was at a low state of charge, it's basically called your user error or user cost is what they said. Um, so that's why I have to pay for it. Um, which sucks, he was saying that once your battery gets below 10%, the actual mileage and percentage is pretty uh, unreliable, which is why they say stay between 20 and 80% or 20, 50, 20 to 100, depending on what type of battery you have. But yeah, that's super unfortunate that that happened to me. Um, so yeah, 2200 bucks. They said they can have it done for me today. Uh, I have a shoot. I actually have to go shoot at my church tonight, so uh, I probably won't be able to pick it up tonight. But I will definitely be able to pick it up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, twenty two hundred down the drain, literally three days before Christmas. So that's where we're at right now. Um, plus the toes that I've paid. So I'm probably twenty five hundred dollars in uh, in the hole right now. So it sucks, but. You know, it is what it is. So I guess the lesson right now is not let your car go under 20% because if anything happens, you're you're really out of luck and you'll be paying the price. So, yeah, so I'm update you guys tomorrow, see what happens. Hopefully I get the, the vehicle back. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so quick update. I just got home from the gym and I just randomly opened up the Tesla app and I see that my car is charging so I haven't received like any notifications or anything uh, but I see that my car is plugged up so I see that the trunk is open I see that the front is open and I see the power animation and it's saying six hours and 20 minutes to reach charge limit so it seems as if they fix my vehicle so that's good news I mean twenty two hundred dollars later but yeah that's good news I mean I'm glad to see uh, that they at least got it charging. Um, it's funny enough that the car still says it's in Laguna, so maybe it just needs time to update and connect back to the network. Um, but that's really good news. I'm really happy to see that. All right, it's the next day, and I just got word that the car is done. And I, on a whim, I just randomly asked. I'm like, hey, do I qualify for any rebate, any, not rebate, uh, discount or anything. And I actually saw that my estimate was updated. So we'll know once we get there if the estimate went up or if it went down because it just says outdated estimate. So I don't know how much it's about to cost for real. I know when I spoke to you guys yesterday, I said like 2200 Um but we'll see once we get there. But they said the car is done. I was checking it out throughout the night. I saw that it was plugged up and charging. Uh, currently, it's at like 78%. Um, so it was at 80, but obviously when it's sitting there in sentry mode and all that stuff is on, uh, you do lose uh, some percentage there. So I'm gonna get dressed, get ready, get this thing off my head and uh, <laughs> head over to the service center and pick up my baby. And as you guys can see, we are back in the whip. I'm so, so, so happy that they were able to fix this thing. And yes, it costs a pretty penny, but uh, I'm just glad to be back in my car. Tesla service, they did it. Now, here are some of my takeaways and some notes that I feel like people should know if they're ever in this situation. Um, one, let's say this happens to you at night, like it did for me. Tesla service, depending on where you are and depending on the day, 
um, they close at 5 p.m. or 8 p.m. depending on the day or depending on where you are um, so just go ahead and skip the hassle of of calling Tesla and trying to get everything worked out through Tesla if you have insurance and you have towing through your insurance get towed either to your home or get towed to a service center I would say preferably a service center because uh, they can get everything done there whether it's something that they can do mobily do something quick or if it's long term at least it's already at service um, versus taking it home thinking that it could be done through through mobile which in my case it could have been but there was as you saw some underlining other issues um, so just get it straight to a service center and also use your insurance to do the towing and all of that just skip the hassle that was the one thing I took a lot of time trying to talk to Tesla uh, but yeah, just go through your insurance and get it worked out that way. Um, second, do not drive your car uh, below, I'll say below 20%. Um, you're really in a threshold where, yeah, you can you could make it if you're, you know, local and you're driving somewhere short. Um, but just like the technician told me, he was like, once you get past 20, I would say even 10%, your range like what it shows on the car is very inaccurate um you can have 10 percent, it says but you may have five you may have four um so keep that in mind and then also just warranty wise for any damage or anything that happens once you get past that 20 percent threshold you're not even covered anymore there's no ifs ands or buts or discussion um at that point it's at user costs customer costs user costs so at at best what i can recommend is stay above 20 percent just to save yourself i mean i just had to drop 21 so the new quote was 2174 um and it was originally 2280 something so they took off about a hundred dollars for me um which was nice it means better than nothing but uh, just to save yourself the hassle, don't don't let your car die. Don't let it get too low um, and save yourself this issue. Now, am I still a Tesla lover and a Tesla uh, fanboy, a Tesla guy? And I'll say yes. If I didn't get my car down that low, I don't think I would have had this issue. Um, the 12 volt battery is just like any other vehicle. Your 12 volt battery can die without you knowing. It's just... In my situation, I I kind of sped up the process of damaging it and having it die because I let the car get too low. Um, so no shade on Tesla for the battery dying because that can happen in any car. So for all the Tesla haters out there that will say, see, your car died, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's, that's not truly the case at all. I let the car get down to a low percentage, which ended up damaging that battery. Now, that battery, like I said, could have died any other way, like normal, just like any other car, and it was actually a free replacement. I got that swapped out completely for free. So the thing is, people have to realize that the car has two batteries, the 12 volt in the front, and then the big high voltage battery. And the big high voltage battery does everything in its power to protect itself. Um, as you heard the technician say in the clip that got cut off, but... Um, yeah, I'm still a Tesla guy. I'll probably never drive a, a gas car again as far as like my daily driver. Um, <clears throat> I love this car. I love Tesla. Um, I'm definitely going to get another one. I want to get my girlfriend one even. Um, I love it. And just even the service of getting it fixed and everything, they were very knowledgeable of of what exactly to fix. Yes, it's expensive. That's that's the price you pay literally of having like a luxury car or an expensive vehicle. Um, God wouldn't bless you uh, with something expensive if you can't maintain it. So that's why I had to look at it is, you know, I'm blessed enough to have this vehicle. It's my dream car. And God has blessed me to also keep up with it and maintain it. And even if I have issues with it to um, get them fixed. So I'm just looking at everything as a positive And I'm glad that this happened because now it was able to inform you guys and educate you guys on certain things. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this long video, very dramatic, very long winded. Uh, this was a week long thing. This, this started out on Monday. It's, or no, this started out on Sunday and now it's Friday and I have my vehicle back. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad to have my vehicle back. So if you guys love this type of content, love this video, please, so I can make some money back, run this up, like this video, comment on the video, share it, um, and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more content. Hopefully not like this, but just more Tesla-related uh, content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.